and and also it, your your club Ipswich is that you you are losing a lot of money each week, even though the fans don't appreciate it. Um, the manager at the start of the season is is given a brief by the owner, brief by the chief executive, and that's keep us in this division because it is a big difference between seven million pounds of TV money and one million pounds of TV money. Um, and certainly, I, when I saw the, the the real aggression and hostility towards Mick McCarthy last season from a section of the Ipswich fan base, that that confused me because Mick McCarthy was doing exactly what he was told to do by by Marcus Evans, which was get to 18th. Anything above that is is, is an achievement. Um, and so, you know, I, I I can't comment on the style of football and the quality of the football, but he he wasn't given money to to buy players in the, in the transfer market. If if you look at Ipswich's spending in in the last you know, five years of Mick McCarthy, 2013, 1.9 million, 2014, 100,000, 2015, 100,000 quid, 2016, 400,000 pounds. Now you're competing with clubs that have just come down from the well, Premier the 88 League. million that you mentioned for Villa. Is it the 88 million for it? Villa in one season. Yeah. And then you say, well, well, we're losing to Villa and, and we, oh, we, we've got a bunch of workmen in the team well if 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 you if you've got a 100,000 pound a year transfer mark budget then you're not going to sign messi you're not going to sign um can you anybody can you, you're not going to sign Matt Ritchie even are you can you speak directly to Ipswich fans is there an argument from a financial point of view that Marcus Evans is a good owner um without Marcus Evans uh Ipswich would be in league 1 or league 2 so what what fans are are looking for in an owner they are not looking for an investor they are looking for a sugar daddy and there's a difference because um an investor is actually looking for a return where you cannot get a return um and you've got to be careful with sugar daddies because there's one thing that normally sugar daddies expect in return and yeah, you know, that's going to be quite unpleasant. So, so just be, just be careful what you wish for, because uh, if, if you look at see what happened at Villa, Villa had a bad owner in in the minds of their fan base in Randy Lerner. R- Randy Lerner left Villa. It cost him 150 million quid, and then do, and then what they got? They got Doctor Tony, and Doctor Tony was funny. Doctor Tony was on Twitter. Doctor Tony was high fiving people. Dr. Tony took Aston Villa Football Club to within two hours of going bust. Wow. So, yeah, by all means, say that Marcus Evans hasn't put enough money in. Uh, actually, Ast- uh, Ipswich Town Football Club owe Marcus Evans 95 million quid. He's not put in 50 million pounds in a year, but he, ha- he has subsidised the club. It's cost him you know, eight to 10 million pounds a year. Um, and, and if people are accusing him of this, that and the other, this is still the guy every Monday morning. He's writing out a check for 180 grand a week to keep that club afloat. Wow. So you just just, you know, it's, if people are going to abuse, abuse others, just just take a look at actually what he is doing. You know, I don't know Marcus Evans. I don't know the business. I've never had any meetings. Since I've got as I'm a completely independent. All I can say is in, you know, in what I do in my job on a day to day basis. This this is an owner that just writes out that check, gets on with it. I think he's probably got poor communication skills. He doesn't present or market himself particularly well. And as a result of that, people who go to the match, you just lost 3-0 at home to, to Reading, or you've just been turned over by Wolves or Villa, and, and you're angry. And therefore, it's we're in a world where finding a scapegoat is, is what people choose to do. Marcus Evans is not the worst thing that's ever happened to Ipswich Town Football Club. He's not even in the top 10 worst things. He's actually one of the better things that has happened to that club because without him, you would be unable to compete in that market whatsoever. And therefore, you would be bouncing between League One and the Championship um, every season. That you know, you'd, you'd be a bit like Millwall or Barnsley or a club of that nature. Wow. Um, and I can understand p- people, you know, Ipswich fans say, oh, we're bored. We've been in the... Ch- we've been in 
Uh, we've been in the championship for far too long. We'll be careful what you wish for. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Um, 